This is Flingbot. Flingbot was brought into this world for one purpose and one purpose only. To fling paint and create beautiful pieces of art. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative, let's create. Before we get started, I need to give a huge shout out to Cron Technologies for providing me with their Kronos 2.1 HD high speed camera. That is how I got all the epic slow-mo shots in this video. Thank you guys so much. All right, let's get into it. I created Flingbot to solve a very important problem. I really wanted to make some paintings, but I really don't like painting. There's some combination of impatience and perfectionism that makes it really hard for me to make it happen. And let's face it, I'm an engineer, so I decided why not just make a robot that can paint for me instead. As the saying goes, teach a robot to fish or paint or uh, something like that. Unlike most robots, which were designed to do things in a predictable, repeatable way, Flingbot was designed to do the complete opposite. Create unpredictable, wildly unrepeatable, incredibly unique works of art. This was achieved using parameters and some randomized code to pick from the parameters. This meant the engineering process required me to design for each one of these parameters. The first parameter is fling strength. Using this servo motor, Flingbot can load these elastics at different forces to achieve different power levels. By randomly choosing an angle between 90 and 180, this parameter can be varied. Once the elastics are charged up, this motor releases the arm, allowing Flingbot to fling. The next parameters are the starting and ending fling angles. Randomly selected by the code, the trajectory and point it hits on the canvas is variable, creating another factor of uniqueness. This is all controlled by this servo, which also happens to be the motor that allows Flingbot to position itself under the paint reservoirs, which brings us to our next variable, the paint. Designer Jay was really messing with Engineer Jay on this one when he decided that there needed to be 12 different colors. This meant that there needed to be 12 automated valves with 12 servo motors. And to make everything even more annoying, the accounting department recommended that Engineer Jay use the cheapest servos on Amazon, which consequently sucked and had to be fully replaced by bigger and still sucky but, but working servo motors. So once Flingbot randomly chooses a color, the next parameter is how much of that color it grabs. To achieve this, there is a randomized time value selected by the code, which corresponds to how much of the paint is poured into the scoop. To add another factor, Flingbot can decide between having one to three colors per throw. And then to add yet another factor on top of all of that, the amount of throws per canvas can be varied between four and eight, so there's five possible combinations there. And that leaves us with the final parameter, and this is my favorite one of the entire project, the scoop profile. I did some scientific experimenting to see the difference in paint trajectories caused by different scoop profiles. After seeing the distinct fling patterns between the two shapes, I decided that this thing needed a variable scoop. So it was off to the sculpture supply store to get some silicone that I could pour. I 3D printed a mold, poured the silicone in, and that resulted in this unique silicone paint flinging spatula thing. I was pretty fired up about this. Attaching it to this pivot, connecting some fishing line, and running it down the arm to this counterbalancing servo motor gives Flingbot the capability to randomly select a scoop profile. This adds the final degree of unpredictability to the system. So in summary, there are four to eight throws per canvas, five possibilities there, one to three colors per throw, 12 different choices of colors. There are 70 possibilities of the amount of paint that can be dumped into the scoop. There are 18 possibilities for a start angle, 18 possibilities for an end angle. There are 20 possibilities for the speed of this rotation during the throw. There are 29 possibilities of a scoop profile, 20 possibilities of the speed of the change of the scoop during the throw and then there's 60 possibilities of strength. So multiplying all of these values together, that gives us 2,841,350,400,000 possibilities of paintings that Flingbot can make. Crazy. Before we start flinging paint, I have a feeling that this is gonna get a little bit messy. So let's make a paint booth. Now 
that all the hard work is done, it's time to let Flingbot do what he was put on this earth to do, fling paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a fun video to make and it took a lot of tries to get everything right. So if you'd like to see more about the iterations or the code that's running this project, there's a link in the description below to the project page and it describes everything in detail. As always, I have tons of ideas and so there's lots more videos to come in the future. So please subscribe if you are interested and I will see you in the next video. Yeah. It's yeah.